Good day, V Dub here, and how you doing? Today's video is about our turbo motor and having it built in America. So this is the video I think you've all been waiting for, is the building of the turbo engine for V-dubbed. So the engine was built for me in the US by AJ Sims and most of the photos are actually from AJ. I'll put his, a link in the description to uh, his business low budget. The engine starts off with a aluminium super case with deep studs from high performance engine cases. The second shot is just really uh, the case as they arrive. Uh, it's the case without any in internals. The case is reinforced and solid behind number three cylinder, usually where they're weakest and can crack. It's also drilled and tapped for a full flow oil filter. The case is spot faced and special washers are used and this decreases the chance of the case splitting in half and just gives a better, flatter bearing surface for any of the fasteners. With the engine ready to be built, this is just test fitting the bearings. The crank used is an 8 dial chrome molly 4340 forged steel crankshaft which is then nitride surface hardened for added strength. The cranks are then micro polished and dynamically balanced. A VW stock weight flywheel is bolted to it as well as the clutch pressure plate and all of that is dynamically balanced as well. This is a shot of the crank being balanced and you can see material is drilled out to get the balance. In this shot, the cam is being installed and you can see the cam has got straight cut cam gears to avoid any thrust load on the cam. The connecting rods are H-beam race rods. The reason for that H-beam is the extra strength when you are going at high RPMs with larger loads as in a turbo motor. They also have a bushing at the small end. Uh, from this photo you can see the H-beam construction and they have an ARP8740 rod bolt which gives you extra strength at the big end. Just a close-up of the bushing at the small end. Down the rod towards the big end. And the ARP bolts. The turbo motor comes with an extended oil pan just to carry more oil. As obviously in an air-cooled engine, the oil does all the cooling as well. And the oil pickup needs to be extended with low bugger, they extend and weld the oil pickup rather than using hose clamps which may come apart inside the motor. This is a shot of the extended oil pan which bolts on underneath the existing standard VW stock oil pan. The oil pump is a HD 13 millimeter with a full flow cover. The oil pump has a groove machined into it so that we can fit a O-ring and the O-ring stops air being sucked in the side of the oil pump. So this photo just shows the oil pump, the O-ring and the parts that get installed. So this is the short block complete now, ready to install the pistons, barrels, and the heads. 
turbo engines destroy pistons and barrels. So this motor has been built with forged Mahler pistons, Mahler barrels, a complete set of performance chrome top Mahler rings, and Mahler wrist pins and stock clips. The 99mm diameter thick wall 35PS barrels are first turned to ensure they're perfectly round and that there's no taper on either side. They then machine to within five thousandths of an inch from the top to bottom for the correct deck height. And lastly, they are honed for fast ring seating, achieving a good seal. In this shot, you can just see the honing, which is the crisscross hatching on the inside of the barrels. This shot just compares Mahler barrels to stock ones, and you can see the difference in wall thickness between the German Mahler barrels and standard VW barrels. The pistons are all perfectly balanced and then they ready for assembly. You can see here every piston came in at 420 grams exactly. This shot is the pistons and the wrist pins ready to be installed on the conrods. The heads are AJ Sims Turbo Prep hand-built heads and they have a 40mm inlet valve and a 35mm exhaust valve. The combustion chambers are profiled and polished to increase airflow and this is just a shot during the process. This next shot shows you a before and after. And this is the final product after the combustion chambers have been reprofiled and polished. The heads are auto linear performance castings and they have a three quarter reach 12 millimeter spark plug holes which have been moved up and over slightly to allow for more aluminium so there's less chance of cracking where the spark plug is which is quite a common fault. They also have thick solid chamber blocks to dissipate heat and solid rocker blocks to avoid the rocker stud pull out. You can see the, the blue ink that's been put on the intake and that's just to mark out to start porting and polishing. So that brings me to some of the performance modifications that are done to the head. And that's back cutting the intake valves for extra intake flow and horsepower. Porting and polishing the intake port to match the ported end castings. So that you'll see in that picture now. They also, the exhaust valves have also been ported and polished. Also trim the outside of the intake guides for more flow and horsepower. Removing the exhaust guide that would stick up in the exhaust port. And on turbos, this exhaust guide can get so hot that the guide actually breaks off and makes its way into the turbo with catastrophic results chewing up the turbo. The final pieces of the long block assembly are Manton 3 8 inch seamless 4140 chrome molly push rods. Uh, it's a scat 9mm rocker assembly. It's got high lift billet 1 to 125 rockers with solid shafts, swivel adjusters and 4130 studs. Then it's got dual high rev performance long last valve springs for the extra rev protection. Lightweight, stronger chrome molly 4130 spring retainers. Hardened heat treated valve keepers. Aluminium silicon bronze valve guides. 
and each valve spring is shimmed for the turbo cam and the rocker to get the correct spring pressure. So with all these pieces now assembled, you end up with the long block for the 2276cc turbo motor. All right, thanks again for watching and take care. See you in the next one. Thanks again for watching and be sure to like, share, subscribe and leave me any comments.